Another question, how does objectivism increase one's confidence? Well, first of all, philosophy as such cannot <clears throat> increase your confidence or change you in any way, not simply the existence of the philosophy. Only if you integrate it into your thought and then apply it. Your desires are, are co constant and follow and your actions uh, that you choose uh, are consistent. Now, if you accept and objectively integrate uh, Ayn Rand's philosophy, then I would say you certainly can and will, if you, if you lacked uh, confidence before, you certainly can uh, uh, increase it. Uh, just the sheer fact of saying I rely on reason versus on revelation uh, gives you much greater intellectual confidence because otherwise you were blind, you took something on faith, you had no means to know what is true, you're assailed by doubt. Or again, if you accept egoism, you know what you want, you know that when you uh, find it, you pursue it, you keep it. As against, if you accept self-sacrifice, you do not know who is coming after what when, when you should give it up uh, and when you shouldn't, because they don't just say like the medievals, give up everything and totally abnegate yourself. So you are necessarily in a state of total uncertainty uh, morally. And what about uh, the idea that uh, how can you have confidence if you can never be certain of anything? As against all the subjectivists and skeptics today, if you accept one of their viewpoints, you can't have any confidence in your conclusions. And even on the political level, if you believe in rights, you know what to fight and what to try to avoid on the part of the government. As against, you have no definite view. You don't know when to protest and when not. Now, if you put together all of that, you have a pattern of confidence in every key issue as against a pattern of uncertainty, doubt, who knows what's coming or what to do next. It's in that sense that a rational philosophy certainly increases your confidence.